Good morning. We are Skywave Innovations. I am Amanda Schlarman, and my teammates are Zen Zhang, Julian Gonzalez, Bill Briskenis, Wayne Hendricks, and Brandon we Weiser. Um, Collins Aerospace tasked us with designing an HF antenna to replace the current long wire system um, used on commercial aircraft. While this, uh, while this antenna is simple and maintains superior HF performance, it also spans the entire, it spans the majority of the aircraft. Therefore, our task is to create a lower profile antenna while maintaining the RF characteristics of the long wire system. So, uh, including this crude model, we have three implement designs for this project, <coughs> which is a long wire antenna. Uh, so basically, it's an aluminum wire that goes from the tip of the, of the vertical stabilizer to the middle of the fill sludge. Serves as a uh, performance standard for our project. And uh, we have our uh, top rod, which is a dipole type antenna, uh, which uh, generally used on helicopters, installed on the lower side of, of, of the fill sludge. And then we have our uh, shunt antenna, which is a sh aluminum sheet installed on the front edge of the vertical stabilizer. Using uh, Antis HFSS software, we modeled and, and simulated our antenna designs. Um, the, all three antenna designs had a gain of about 3 dBi. Uh, however, the shunt antenna had, the shunt and the tow rod antenna design had a directed directivity while the long wire antenna design had a more omnidirectional uh, directivity. Once we designed and manufactured the antennas, we used UTD's cricket field uh, to test our, our antennas. The circle field allowed us to walk around and to test the polarity as well as the gain of each antenna. To maximize the transmit power, we, used, uh, we designed a matching network in FR4, and we used a spectrum analyzer to test the power in DBM and an oscilloscope to test the peak-to-peak -peak voltage. We were able to validate the results from ANSYS HFSS with our scale models, or built to one-fifth scale, so we could uh, transmit in the VHF uh, band instead of the HF band. Uh, this way I could use my uh, ham radio license and radios I had on hand for testing in the cricket field. Um, yeah, we were able to uh, confirm all the propagation patterns from ANSYS and able to adjust the numbers based on what we collected. Um, what's next? If we have more time and resources, we would do three things. The first one is <coughs> to test the low profileness of the uh, of the antennas using a wind tunnel. Second, we would build uh, full size prototypes of the sh of the shunt and the tow rod. And third, we would. Um, uh, perform aerial testing on uh, on set antennas. So, um, so out of the three, which one you chose to, to go with? I mean, the original issue was the, the longer one was you know subject to environmental issues in the cattle right? Yeah. So, which one you chose? Which is the one? The oh. yes. Um, yeah, go ahead. Which one go of ahead. the three you chose <laughs> as a replacement? We ended up going with the uh, shunt antenna due to its, uh, its similarity to the gain of the original long wire design, of which is about 3 dBi. Uh, although the, the low profileness and the gain was achieved, the overall directionality of the antenna suffered due to its uh, design. So did low profile mean the aerodynamics? Yes, okay. it, that's correct. Uh, the uh, long wire was prone to oscillation at speeds. Who are your customers and where are you standing as far as the market uh, in compared to what is available now in the market? Who are your what, customers? Yeah. Um, HF is used for um, overseas flight, so any flight that uh, goes overseas. Airplane industry. Airplanes. Uh, Cell phone communication. Oh, yes, aerospace industry. Aerospace. Mm -hmm. So um. you're saying your design, uh, this whole issue is from air to air communication, right? That's correct. So I'm in a plane, and another plane, <coughs> probably a mile or two miles from me, I should be able to communicate between these two, right? Yes. And you were saying that the directivity of this antenna 
it's more directional compared to the other antenna that they're using, which is more omnidirectional, right? All right. Yes. How would you control the level of range between your antenna and their antenna? Well, how would you measure the range of this antenna? You said you went to the, uh, uh, you tested the design in the UTD Cricket room, field. room right? right? So how, how would you measure and how would you control the range? Is it, is it controllable or is it not? Um, so you could control the range by the output power. If you needed more range, well, you could. Yeah, I understand the output power. How would you control that output power on your antenna? Do you have a eval board or any kind of RF board right behind it or above it that you can uh, kind of let you do that? Uh, none specifically for this. That would be handled more on the uh, coupler and the radio side. This was just the propagation just pattern antenna. of the. And what was the range of this one? Um, probably <coughs> hundreds of miles in the HF. And the, the point is to reach across an ocean with this, okay. if, if needed. We're, we're going to have to okay. stop there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.